What is up guys, welcome back to Filmania. As you can see from the title, we will be discussing the 10 dark secrets about the Storage Wars cast. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications on so you do not miss any further future uploads. But without further ado, let's dive into number 10. Coming up at number 10, Barry's produced past. For some reason that we have never understood, during Barry's time in the spotlight, he was pretty cagey about where he made all of the money he clearly had, given that he avoided speaking about the fact that he first made his fortune selling produce wholesale. He must not want anyone to know that fact, even though it is admirable work. Some of the cars I've owned, I've owned a, a famous car built by a guy named Frank DeRosa called the King of Mercs. It was a 51 Merc. It was Adelaide. I mean, I've had quite a few cars. I've been fortunate in that respect, but uh, I'm a steel. And just the shape, the styling. You know, I remember in the old days, the 59 Cadillac. Was Coming up at number nine, Laura and Dan's privacy invasion. As television personalities, Laura and Dotson must have known that people would come up to them in public, but they surely didn't expect to have their banking accounts hacked. Eventually, able to make things right, the Dotsons still probably want to keep this incident close to their chest so that other criminals aren't inspired to do the same thing to them. You're not allowed to do a turn right here. I did it. Illegal. It's done. Turn here and then you turn back. Ah, oh, that's a huge my money with that hand. I'm a 20 30 37 7 a 37 half of a 40 where a 40 You're supposed to be turning here, baby. I am. I am. You should be doing a legal U-turn where you should something. If you do an illegal U-turn and there's no cops around, is it really illegal? Coming up at number 8. Some of the feuds aren't real. When you tune into an episode of Storage Wars, there is a very good chance that two of the stars will be feuding for one reason or another. However, if you ever see Brandy Passante and Mary Payden trying to mess with one another, keep in mind that the pair are best friends off camera. An alien. <laughs> that laugh is so pathetic, you anorexic munchkin. Wow. An a &E. Thank you, Doc. <laughs> Guys like them big old boobs. <laughs> Take her back to the LD class and tell her how to act like a 48-year-old woman that she is. <gasps> Hashtag ew. Coming up at number seven, Batmobile Crash. Arguably the most delightful cast member in Storage Wars history, it often was a lot of fun to see Barry Weiss on TV. When he briefly got a show of his own, However, he had to keep fans interested for the full run time. As such, during one episode, he was involved in one particularly embarrassing moment when he drove a Batmobile from Tim Burton's film, which he owns and got into a fender bender. Thankfully for him, very few people watched Barry's show. Coming up at number six, scripted lines. If there is one thing that is supposed to make reality shows different, it is this, the lack of scripts. However, according to former Storage Wars executive producer Tom Beers, around 50% of the dialogue heard in the show has been provided to the cast by writers. Considering that makes the stars of this show look more like puppets, we're sure they don't want that to be common knowledge. Coming up at number 5, Brandy and Gerald's utter failure. To the surprise of nobody who has a passing knowledge of the internet, the most likely talked about Storage Wars cast member online has to be Brandy Passante. That must be why the show's producers decided to develop a spin-off for Passante and her husband to the embarrassment of both Brandy and Jared married to the job never found a notable audience. Coming up at number four, Dave Hester's other lawsuit. While Dave Hester often sports a very satisfied look on his face whenever he lets out a loud yep on Storage Wars, fans of the show aren't as taken with his trademark word as he is. Coming up at number three, anything about Mary Perdian's romantic life. Given the fact that Mary Perdian's decided to sign on to be a reality TV star, you would probably think that she would be fine with letting the word in on her private life to a certain degree. However, aside from briefly referencing a man she'd fallen for during an episode of Storage Wars, Texas Padian has proven that she wants to keep her love life to herself. Now guys, coming up at number two, Brandy Passante's criminal record. 
Even though Storage Wars makes Brandy Pisanti look pretty squeaky clean, she has made some mistakes in the past. Arrested for DUI in 2007, according to online reports, Pisanti was sentenced to three years probation, $390 in fines, and three months of a first offender alcohol problem. Now guys, coming up at number one, the show peppering in high-end items. Let's face facts. It's each time the cast of a Storage Wars bought a new locker on the show, they found nothing but dusty old crap. This show would be pretty boring. As a result, it makes sense that according to many reports, Storage Wars produces Pepper, the lockers with cool and expensive items. However, each time a fan learns about these claims, it only serves to paint the show's cast as being complicit and deceit. Now guys, that is all it for me. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe if you're new. But without further ado, I'm out.